Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you again. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about a movie you may not have heard of. This is a movie called After Midnight. I was sent this by the good folks over at Umbrella Entertainment to review. This is a DVD I will mention. Um, so let's get into the review. A kind of a, a plot or a story kind of description about this one is um, basically a small town bar owner, Hank, uh, kind of his longtime girlfriend leaves him. Um, he's in a kind of big house out in the kind of, um, I wouldn't say countryside, but you know, kind of out in maybe middle America somewhere type of thing. He kind of starts drinking and there's a whole, you know, the girlfriend has left him, but then some sort of creature keeps clawing his uh, front door down every night and um, it kind of takes the line of, is he going crazy or is this kind of a monster sort of a thing? Um, so it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of, <laughs> that's sort of the, the kind of storyline of in between both these kind of, uh, the girlfriend has left and is it kind of a horror or a monster movie as well. Um, some technical info about this one, uh, Umbrella Entertainment, as I mentioned, uh, is releasing this one 2020 this year. Uh, 83 minutes uh, runtime for the feature, aspect ratio is 2.35 to 1, so you'll get those black bars top and bottom of your screen. Audio wise, there's just one audio track, the Dolby Digital 5.1 surround track. Um, and I will mention this is a region four DVD, but I am in region two and it plays fine here. So um, cast and crew on this one. So I just wanted to sort of note on the front, it says from the director of The Battery and the producers of The Endless. I've never heard of those films. So uh, apologies if I offend anybody, uh, I've never heard of them. But uh, your director's two directors, actually Jeremy Gardner and Christian Stella is the sort of uh, director combo on this one. Uh, the cast includes Jeremy Gardner, who is the lead uh, character in this. So he is the director as well. Uh, Bria Grant is in there as well. I've seen her in a couple of things. I can't think off the top of my head what she's been in, but I have seen her and I've seen the name before. Um, Henry Zabrowski and Justin Benson are the other two uh, main cast members in this one. Um, I believe the other director, Christian Stella, maybe is the editor or the cinematographer or something like that on the on the uh, movie as well. Um, AV quality on this one, uh, pretty decent 5.1 surround mix in terms of the audio. Um, kicks in, of course, when the monster is, you know, coming to the house and it's at the door and all that sort of stuff. Uh, uh, a lot of the rest of the movie is, um, I'll talk about that later on, but there's a lot of the movie is kind of music and uh, not very dialogue heavy at the beginning. Picture quality, um, I think I've mentioned it before here, one of you films, I have a 4K player and a 4K TV. Um, sometimes 4K is not very kind to DVD at all. Um, so it doesn't look the sharpest, this DVD. You know, in darker scenes, it doesn't look the sharpest. Um, but otherwise, no issues. That's, you know, that's not a complaint in terms of the DVD. That's just uh, how I was watching the movie here at home. A um, couple of notes about this one. There is a couple of timeline switches uh, in the movie. So, you know, he's kind of starts off. He's on his own. Uh, the girlfriend, Bria Grant, has left. And then she's back. And then it's kind of like true flashback it's kind of done. So um, there's a bit of kind of timeline jumping around. The scope uh, scope ratio, as we would call it in work in the cinema, um, so the 2.35 to 1, the whole idea of that is you get a nice wide picture uh, and that's where the black bars are top and bottom. Um, works really well in this because they kind of show, like I said, sort of like not countryside, but it's kind of out, you know, there is some like some nice scenes of landscapes and stuff and that sort of aspect ratio works well with that. Even uh, within the house, um, even though you're getting that wide angle, it does still kind of give you the claustrophobic feel of being caught in the house, which is uh, really well done. Um, uh, the music and the score and stuff like I mentioned there seems to be a lot of like mute like you know a scene will happen with dialogue and a flashback with the with Jeremy Gardner and Bria Grant and then it'll kind of just go into a like a whole song like a music song um, and kind of play through uh, just I just sort of noticed that watching it seems to happen like maybe two three times in the beginning of the movie and um, very little kind of dialogue early on except for those flashback scenes but then of course later on there's uh, there's more dialogue uh, picks up in the movie and um, the monster I thought had a bit of a Stranger Things feel about it Um, uh, it's kind of here on the cover Um. A little bit looks wise and like with the, what they've done with the sound design or you know the the, the score and stuff um, I think everybody's kind of going for Stranger Things at the moment um, so maybe something different would have been nice but uh, yeah I just sort of noticed that there and um, bonus content on this one uh, there is no bonus content at all Umbrella releases these kind of plain vanilla uh, releases DVD and Blu-ray and um, they do it well so why change that and um, bonus content is always nice to see but there is none on this one after midnight so sort of um 
final thoughts and writing on this one. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Uh, I did like it. It's kind of... Um, I kind of feel like it's kind of a combo, like I said earlier, of a felon relationship movie and a monster horror movie. Like, is the guy going crazy because the girlfriend left and he's been drinking? Or is there a monster? Um, it's all answered at the end of the movie. I will say... The ending was quite predictable when I don't want to give any spoilers here in the review, but the ending sort of came up and I was just like, oh, this is going to happen. And then you're kind of waiting and waiting and waiting and then it happens. And um, that was kind of one like little sort of a disappointment about it. Like you could kind of see that that was coming. But um, otherwise, I think it's a good addition to your collection after midnight, um, especially if you're into the horror stuff or the monster stuff. It's um, it's a pretty decent uh, release here. And there's some cool artwork on here as well. I forgot to mention earlier in the review. Um, I don't know that Simon Sherry usually does the the artwork for Umbrella. It doesn't make a note on the back here, but um, that's pretty cool uh, cover art here. I'll stick in a close up. That's the, the monster and stuff. Uh, the back is the usual. The disc features the same. Uh, as the front cover artwork but uh yeah three out of five on this one uh definitely recommend picking this up if you're into horror stuff and you're just kind of open to giving it a try but uh this is available right now from umbrella entertainment if you want to grab yourself a copy of this i'll leave a link in the description box down below and you can click that and order it straight away and get it delivered to your door um yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for this video guys thanks for watching if you like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please consider hitting the bell to get notified every time i post a new video trying to grow the channel uh, this year we're kind of sitting around 1040 1038 3940 i'll kind of jump around those three numbers so uh we're trying to hit past that 1040 subscribers numbers lots more videos coming soon is there anything you want to see on the channel or have any comments about this release leave them down below in the comments and i'll get back to everyone as soon as i can thanks for watching guys and i'll talk to you on the next video